Hello. In this video, we're going to show you how to virtualize a web service. A prerequisite for the video is that you've installed and deployed the billing web application as described in the installation and bootstrapping guide. In the video, we'll use a SOAP XML web service, which is exposed by the billing application, as a data source. Denodo Express will get the WSDL definition of the web service and inspect the definition to determine the available operations and data formats supported by the web service. We'll create a base view from the selected web service operation and show we can execute queries using SQL. The result is that a SOAP XML web service can be invoked using SQL queries with Denodo Express. Making these web services available to tools such as BI Tools or Microsoft Excel that don't understand the complexity of the SOAP, XML, and WSDL. From the Denodo VDP admin tool, right click on the virtual database, select new, data source, and then select web service as the data source type. This will bring up the web service data source wizard. Enter a name for the data source. We'll call it SOAP billing DS so that it has a meaningful name. Now you need to provide the URL for the WSDL that describes the web service. This URL allows Denodo Express to query the service for the WSDL definition, which can then be introspected for the details of the services offered. Typically, the WSDL URL is the base URL for the web service with question mark WSDL appended, like this. You can also configure different authentication methods for the web service. But for this example, we'll leave that as off. Similarly, you can configure proxy servers, but we'll also leave this as off for the example. Click on the OK button to connect to the web service. A new data source icon appears in the project navigation pane on the left, with the WS letters denoting that it's a web service data source. In the detail pane, Denodo Express displays a list of operations supported by the web service. In our example web service, there are three operations available. You can browse the operation definitions to see what input parameters are required, if any, and what data is returned by the web service. We can create a base view for a web service operation by clicking on Create Base View next to the desired operation. We'll create a base view for the get bill by customer ID web service operation. Next, you can decide whether you want to flatten the return data or whether you want to have the data in its hierarchical form in the base view. You can always flatten the data later. In a later video, we'll show you how to flatten hierarchical data to make it consumable by tools and applications that are used to handling tabular data, in other words, uniform rows and columns. You can now see the definition of the base view within Denodo Express. We'll change the name of the base view. And the web service operation that we've just virtualized has a mandatory input parameter. As you'd guess from the name of the operation, this parameter is the customer identifier. So we can change the name of this parameter field in the view to reflect this. Now click OK to complete the creation of the base view. Also notice that the data returned by the web service has retained its hierarchical structure. This is because we didn't flatten the data. Denodo Express can accommodate complex hierarchical structures in its extended relational model. This example is fairly simple, but Denodo Express can handle data containing arrays, complex data types, we call them registers, and nested hierarchies of these types. Now that we've created the base view on the web service data source, Let's execute a query to see it at work. You'll notice straight away that Denodo Express has automatically created a WHERE clause expression for the query. This is because the web service operation that we used to create the view had a mandatory input parameter. If you remember, this was the customer ID. And Denodo Express turns this into a WHERE expression when we execute the query. So we need to provide a value for the WHERE expression. The expression that we want is customer ID equals C003. And we click on execute to execute the query against the web service. 
In the results, you'll notice that we get back one row as the result set. But that row contains the input parameter value, C003 in this case, and an array of return data. So the Denodo Express extended relational model allows us to get hierarchical data from a query that ostensibly only understands tabular data. We can drill down into the return data by double clicking on the array. And you can see that the array has two elements, each containing the data of a particular bill for the selected customer. You've now created your first base view from a web service. We can now combine the web service data with information pulled from other sources to provide business entity views that are meaningful to the data consumers and hide the complexity of accessing and integrating the data.